Hey, what's up guys? Today we have a tutorial for you. Today I have a tutorial for you and it's about solar panels. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm gonna it's gonna be pretty in-depth. I'm not gonna show you exactly everything, but you'll have like a basic idea and a little bit more in depth than other tutorials. Excuse my voice, I'm pretty tired. It's two o'clock in the morning, so let's just get this done. All right. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's my walking stick. And if I want to turn invisible, just right click that. All right. So this is a basic solar panel. This um, produces energy and it'll fill a bat box and I can power machines up. Pretty much it. It's pretty much why you would want to use it. So this is how you make a solar panel. Hold on. Let me just take this out of here. Yeah. There we go. That's how you make a solar panel. Three glass planes, which is um six glass. Um electronic circuits, which are copper cable, redstone and iron refined iron. Copper cable is just rubber and a copper. Um, what else? Yeah. And then with that, six copper cables. Yeah. You got it. You got it. You guys got it. Generators, pretty simple. Iron furnace, which, refined iron, and a battery, which is um, I think it's four iron or four refined iron, two redstone, and a copper cable on the top. Whew. Okay, this where it gets a little bit more complicated and complex if you have Greg Tech enabled. This is a Greg Tech enabled tutorial about solar panels. So yeah, so silicon plates. How do you get those in the industrial blast furnace? And how do you? What do you use? You use silicon plates to get the silicon cells to make the silicon plates. Um. All right. So. That's this machine over here. Okay, industrial blast furnace. We want to power. Oh, son of a bitch! Hold on. Not good at tutorial, you guys. MFE. Screw it. Just placing it right there. Okay, MFE on the bottom. I put two generator on the sides because I had solar panels here before, but. I want to show you guys how you would do it if you guys didn't have solar power or any you guys can use any other form of power to power this up but I'm just using generators for now okay so you put the silicon cells in here and you get the uh, silicon plates I won't go in too much detail about making these Hold on. Uh, Let's see, do I have it here? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so there are basically two induction furnaces. Um, not these electronic cells, electronic circuits, titanium machine hole, copper. I don't even know how you pronounce that, but that and a mach advanced machine block. You guys can look up the recipes. This is just standard machine casing in a three by four with an empty in the middle. So yeah, that's how you get your um, silicon plates and carbon plates are pretty easy to make. I actually set something up over here. So you put coal in the macerator, it'll make a uh, coal dust. With that coal dust, you make four, you put four of the coal dust to make a raw carbon fiber. And then uh, two of those to make raw carbon mesh. And then you put it in the compressor and you get carbon plates. Sweet. And uh, that's cooking. That's hooked up to solar panels. That's not how you would want to power this. Unless you want to spend all those solar panels just for two of these, for two of these machines. Um, let's set it today. Why not? So I guess that's pretty much it in how to make a solar panel. Let's go to the advanced. So advanced solar panels. These um generate 8 EU, EU per tick and they uh, output 32 EU and they have a they also have a internal storage for uh, 32,000 EU 
And the way you craft that is by this recipe. So advanced alloy. You'd get that by mixed metal ingots in a rolling machine. Um, you would use refined iron, just a basic one, bronze, which is uh let's look for the recipe. Yeah, right here. Copper in a tin. Uh let's see. Yeah. You would put the uh, mixed metal ingots in a compressor, which I showed you, and you need a rolling machine, which is right over here. This is a rolling machine. You just put it on here. I'm not going to go in-depth with these machines. Uh, I'll probably make another tutorial about on them and the things you can do with the rolling machine and how they're crafted. I'll show you how they're crafted right now. Oh, uh, okay, it's just four pistons, crafting table, and four iron. Not that hard. These are electric engines. Ouch. Electric engines. Powering up the, uh, this is how you convert, um, EU to, uh, MJ, by the way. That's one method. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay. So, advanced alloy. Put the mixed metal ingot in the compressor. And, uh, advanced circuit is just a regular circuit with glowstone, lapis azul, and, uh, redstone and, like, glowstone. Okay. Now this is new. Uh, I don't know when they applied this, but I just figured, I just found this out because, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't made solar panels in a while. Oh, well, let's just get this out of the way. So this is a uh, reinforced glass, which is glass and uh, advanced alloy, um, radiant uranium, which is um, uranium. This is refined uranium, which is just smelted in a furnace with four glowstone. Um, glowstone and then uh, reinforced glass and you get six of them which is I guess okay and then uh, you guys know how to get these you use the last recipe to get the solar panel um, you guys know how to make that I think hopefully you guys were paying attention or I was explaining it good so you need a, a radiant reinforced plate which is diamond for redstone a seranium part and uh, two lapis lazuli. Let's go with this first, which is this is our this is UU matter and uh, glowstone. So how do you get UU matter? I'll show you in a second. You need a um, iridium iron plate, which is uh, and um, four carbon uh, plates and uh, advanced alloy to make reinforced uranium plate. You get this by putting um a refined refined blah refined iron and an iridium ingot and you get that and then so on and so forth okay let's figure out how you get seranium so you need UU matter and glowstone you can get glowstone from another and this is how you make a uh, UU matter this is a matter fabricator um, I use this plutonium and uh, ender pearl dust for an amp this is a one to one ratio uh, plutonium dust yeah, plutonium dust. Okay, this is a UU matter. Uh, you make UU matter by a mat matter fabricator. And uh, that has a really complex recipe. Let's see if we can find it. Matter fabricator. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to go over all that. I'll probably do another tutorial on this. And uh, how to automate, automate this and etc. This is powered by two MFSUs. And those are all ultimate hybrid solar panels. Okay. Let's just make sure I went over everything in this recipe. And I did, I think. Hopefully I did. This is a hybrid solar panel. So next is hybrid solar panel. This has an internal storage storage of uh, 10,000. It generates 64 EU per tick. And the max output is 128. Cool. So it gets a little bit more complex. You need an advanced solar panel. Two iridium plates. Uh, two advanced circuits, an enriched uranium, two carbon plates, and a lapis lazuli block. Okay, this is just putting uh, nine uh, lapis lazulis in the compressor. You can't just craft that in the crafting table anymore. Um, you need carbon plates. You guys know how to do that. Car iridium plates is just uh, you put this in an implosion compressor. So this is an implosion compressor. These are all the things you will need to get to the highest tier. Of solar panel this is an implosion compressor this is how you make it this is a 
I think it's reinforced casing and um, standard casing in the corners and I leave the middle hollow power this up with a this it's only 32 EU it only accepts 32 EU so I got a bat box right next to it with two advanced solar panels next to the bat box okay so that's how you make a iridium plate with a iridium alloy ingot and to do that you need uh, advanced alloys diamond dust and iridium ingots you can get iridium ingots by smelting you get by mining up the ore which is very rare or there's different ways to get the nuggets by pulverized shiny metal industrial grind which is shell tonight which you get at the end the little asteroids and that's pretty much it there's different ways also platinum which i think comes from ferris ore uh, i think i think i think i'm not sure yeah ferris ore you put that in an industrial grinder and you get platinum dust sweet oh deep breath okay you guys know how to make this already solar panel hopefully you guys know how to make this already i just explained it not too long ago enriched sunranium so this is a radiance a radiance uranium which i think i went over already yeah and uh so sunranium how do you get that it's a uh, three glowstone and a six u matter i think yep and i'm right showed you guys how to get the u matter from the matter fabricator so this step is done next uh, this is the ultimate hybrid solar panel this takes forever to get this generates and outputs 512 EU. This has a 1 million internal storage, which is pretty darn awesome. These look pretty cool. All right. So the way you get this is from um, Cold Chunk. Well, what you need for this recipe is an advanced solar panel. It's pretty weird that they don't need a hybrid for this. I'm not sure why. So Lapis Lazuli block. We went over this. We went over the advanced solar panel cold chunk let's see how you make that oh wait r yeah so you get um you start from a coal ball to get compressed coal ball and then what you get that is a four coal dust by macerating coal pulverizing it however you want it and then a flint let's go back uh yeah so you compress those coal balls in a compressor and then uh, you put that around obsidian and you get a cold chunk, which doesn't, isn't hard and isn't that expensive either. So this is the expensive part, really expensive. So you need unriched sunranium, which you get from a irradi radiant uranium and a sunranium. We went over that. Okay. And then you need a, a sunranium alloy, which is really, really expensive. Irrad iridium plates, you need uh, eight of them and a sunranium. And that's pretty much it. There's also another recipe where you, you can do eight hybrid solar panels and an advanced circuit. I'm not sure which one's cheaper, but that one looked okay. And this one, I'm not sure. So, I wouldn't know. Alright, cool. So, let me just show you around. So, this is to make the macerator and the... Uh, oh. Yeah, I forgot something, but I'll go back in a bit. Well, this is how you make, basically this is how you make uh, carbon plates. Uh, I made a coal uh, coke oven, which is uh, just bricks and sand. The reason why I made this is because uh, in the start of the game, if you want to generate uh, EU with generators, these give you way more than uh, coal. And uh, you just put that in there. So it's basically like you're doubling or even tripling your uh, EU output which is pretty cool yeah this takes a lot of energy <laughs> okay yeah these two these are an industrial centrifuge which is really a useful thing and uh with especially with greg tech enabled this makes things a little bit easier to get of some items this is an industrial electrolyzer you also the way you use these two is you put tin on this one and you put tin uh here and you put the thing you want to uh, get separated. So you centri I'm not sure if it's called centrifuging. So you put something in the middle. And you'll get uh, four things out of that. So I use these two to get uh, silicone cells. I forgot to explain that. Silicone. 
Actually, I think I just can right click on here. Yeah, there we go. So the centrifuge, you can do a lot of stuff with this. As you can see, but that's not the reason why I would use it. So this is how you get out of silicone cells. You can get it from a uh, redstone and you get 10. So 10 redstone give you one silicone cell. And it takes uh, 100,010 EU. Well, wait, wait, yeah, 100,000 and 110,000 EU. And it takes about a thousand and one hundred seconds. Not sure how many minutes is that, but you can do the math. Uh, I like using the industrial electrolyzer because it's just sand and uh, an empty cell. This is a very cheap way. Yeah, my phone fell. Yeah, it's very cheaper than this redstone. So yeah, you get compressed air, which you can just uh, put in a crafting table and uh, you'll get your another cell back. Which is so you'll be actually just using one. I'm not sure what this is for exactly, but yeah. I use these two to get um, silicone cells, and then you put it in uh, industrial blast furnace with some, uh, and then you'll get your um, silicone plates. So I guess I think I explained everything. This is how you make the. Uh, oh, if you want to know how to make the, what's it we call it? Let's find out. Yeah, iridium plates. Yeah, iridium alloy ingots. Yeah. So I need an industrial TNT. Forgot to go over that one. And you get a uh, dark ashes. I don't know. I don't know what it's for. Let's check. Uh, uses. Hold on. Uses. Uh, slag. Ooh, I didn't even know that. Cool. Oh. Oh yeah, industrial TNT. Sorry if this is kind of boring, but, you know, trying my best here. So it's just flint and TNT. TNT is just sand and uh, gunpowder, which you get for creepers. Creepers. So, this is pretty much it. I mean, this is pretty much how you make solar panels from the lowest tier to the highest tier. You won't get this in the beginning of the game. You won't even get this simple, basic solar panel in the, in the beginning of the game. You'll have to go with uh, geothermos and uh, lava pumping out from the nether. Or um, making a miscraft age with a lava world. Single ocean biome. That's how I get mine. And power up, um, get some power from that. Or you can just put coal, coke, or coal in a generator and connect it to a pack box. You'll be doing that for a while until you can get up to solar panels. All the way up to the highest one well that's pretty much it for this episode sorry about my voice it's 2 23 in the morning i'm not sure what time i said i started in the beginning well, i think i said the time but hopefully you enjoyed or got some useful information out of this well until then cheers